the struggle for people moving to Nashville is real. If you don't have three quarters of a million dollars to spend, if you need to find a good place for children, for schools, maybe you're looking for an active lifestyle community for older active adults, but you want to keep some money in your pocket. The struggle is real if you don't know where to look. If that sounds like you, <laughs> then you need to come with me. Come on over to the other side. Hey, I get it. As a native Nashvillian, I am just flabbergasted with the costs of some of them. You know, my old stomping grounds has gotten to be really expensive. We have so many people moving to the Nashville area and they want to find a good place for their family. They want to find some good public schools. They actually want to be close into town, but they want a little bit of space. They want to not spend a fortune for their homes, but still have a home that they really enjoy and um, can find the outdoor life that they really crave, maybe even be near water, which of course you don't really think you're gonna have when you're in landlocked Tennessee. Well, the fact is you can have all that. You know where that is? Hendersonville, Tennessee, the city by the lake. Today, I'll show you all around. Hey, on this show, Nashville Redefined, we do so many videos about what it's like to eat, sleep, play, work, live in the Nashville SMSA, the Nashville community, that if that's something of interest to you, if you're considering a move to Nashville or you're here and you just want to learn about other areas, then I suggest you go ahead, tap that bell, subscribe to this channel so that you can see a new video every single week. We talk about all those things. You never know what's going to come up next. Truly, we have so many people looking to move to relocate to Nashville, Middle Tennessee area. And I really love it. As a native Nashvillian, I love that you're loving my city. So if you're thinking about making that move, then I invite you to go ahead and call, text, email me. Do what everybody else is doing. Reach out to me. I've got your back if you're moving here to the Middle Tennessee area. I'm Susan Thetford with Parks Properties. As I say, I'm a native Nashvillian. I've grown up here my entire life and raised my children here. I know the nuances of the city and I have a team of those around me who are willing, able to help immediately with all of your needs. Be sure to stick around to the very end and I'm going to share with you the hottest tip going if you're thinking of relocating to the Middle Tennessee area. Stick around, you won't want to miss that one. Hey, hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Today we have traveled about 15 minutes from downtown Nashville. Uh, if it's not a lot of traffic, maybe 30 minutes in rush hour, over to an area that is north of Nashville. This is the city by the lake. We call it Old Hickory Lake. And that is an area that has 26 miles of shoreline. It's built on a peninsula. So there you can get so much more house for your money. It has a reasonable, accessible commute. And if COVID has taught us nothing, so many of us can work from home. How perfect is this possibly to find more reasonable housing, a little bit more spread out, newer construction you can find in the mid fours to 700,000 price point, way different than some of the areas that I've been showing you. Today we're in Hendersonville, Tennessee. If you're looking for a place that's close to town, if you're looking for a place that has some 55 plus communities that's newer construction, if you're looking for some of the things at affordable prices with good schools that is being very difficult to find in Davidson County and Williamson County, because face it, that's what everybody knows about, Hendersonville and Sumner County might be your spot. So I've got to be upfront with you. As I said, I lived, lived here in Nashville my entire life. When I was growing up, on the west and the southwest side of Nashville. I kind of thought of Hendersonville as the place where only musicians lived. This is where country musicians lived, in my mind. And if you want to be by the lake, obviously this is the perfect place. This is where Johnny Cash, Roy Orbison, um, Conway Twitty lived, the country, country music people of the day. Today, this is where Taylor Swift grew up. She's about my children's age. She grew up here and started her career uh, in Hendersonville with her family went to JP2 High School. This is where currently Kelly Clarkson lives. She actually has her home on the market. Stick around, I'll show you some highlights of that home. If you've got a mere several million dollars to spend 
and you want to be on a point at the lake, this might be your spot. If you're like the normal people of the world though, and you're looking more to 250 to 700,000 kind of price point, then Hendersonville really could be your spot. I get lots of calls and texts from people saying, I want to find a more of an adult community. I don't want the heavy nightlife. I want to get into town, but I don't need that heavy nightlife. I don't want that kind of vibe. I'm looking for more of an adult community. Many people are looking to downsize, move to our area because their kids moved here and they want to be closer to children and grandchildren. Or as I say, they can work from anywhere. Why the heck would you want to be in the middle of a lot of the stuff going on in some of the large cities around the country today. Well, best made plans. Due to COVID, everybody is doing a little bit different timing and the sales agent is not here. But I am at the Gatherings, which is a 55 plus community. It's one of the few. We in Nashville really don't have much of that. It's become a new thing. I know lots of areas have a lot of it. I get a lot of people asking me questions about, I want a specific 55 plus community. I don't want to be around a bunch of little kids in the swimming pool. I want to be my, my family, but I want my peace and quiet. So we are having some of those built in some of the surrounding counties. Here in Sumner County, Beezer is building. Um, several different phases of it, brand new. I'll grab some pictures, I'll post them so that you can take a look. But uh, I'm sorry to say, the sales agent is not here out showing other property. Listen, that's really what's going on throughout the country. Find somebody who's gonna look for you and help you determine the right spot for you because the, the realtors and the agents who are representing sellers in many cases are just inundated and you need better concentrated help on your needs. Just an FYI. Right. And I wanna show you a cluster community of newer, newer homes. It's called Ashcrest. There's actually nothing on the market, but I wanted you to be able to see. We are just behind the huge open air mall that is Indian Lake with everything you can possibly imagine, places to eat, um, furniture, decor, design, anything you can possibly think of, the Sam's, just the normal everything kind of uh, shopping center. And this is a nice community of single family living for those who don't need a yard because you're across the street from that park. You don't want to maintain it and you want the easy life. Let's take a look. The average square footage in this semi-custom neighborhood is 2,800 square feet. Typical home is three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Average sales price, 419,000 with only six days on the market currently. Now, as I said, there's only one home on the market and it's actually pending right now. It took two days to go pending. Prices have really increased. When I say semi-custom, it means this was one builder. They had several floor plans to choose from and someone could make selections on countertops, paint colors, some things like that. But as far as tearing out walls and doing a lot of that kind of thing, that becomes a very custom home and that is typically a very different price point. Let's travel on over to a little older development called Stonecrest. This development started in 2007 and it's finished up. There are no more lots available, so these will all be resale homes. Uh, finished up in 2018. The average size home here is about 2,700 square feet, so quite a bit larger than uh, what we've seen in the past. Average is a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. Uh, this is typically what you see. It's selling about $380,000. Now what that shows you is about $140 a square foot, but please don't take square foot as all equal. Uh, quality, design, all that goes into things. Typical days on the market is only 12. So if anything is showing you throughout Davidson, Williamson County, Wilson County, all the areas that we've been, uh, that you'll find on all of our shows, there's very little inventory. Things are not staying on the market for long because there's just very little inventory and the market is hot. As you see, when you get to the older uh, developments, the houses sit back a little bit more from the street. They have larger lots. This development has uh, swimming pool, tennis courts. Many of them do have that when they were 2000s and later. When you find an older 
home, maybe built in the 60s, 70s, 80s even, those will be on even larger lots, but they won't have the sidewalks. So I mentioned earlier that Callie Clarkson lives in Hendersonville, another one of the music industry greats. Her home is now on the market, so I can give you a sneak peek. It is a gorgeous four plus acre gated waterfront estate with private dock and boat lift, a saltwater pool, two spas, child's dream playground, seven bedrooms, eight full baths, three half baths. The home is approximately 20,000 square feet. So if you have a large family or just an extra couple million dollars to spend, then you too can own your own piece of heaven in Hendersonville. So today we hung out in Hendersonville, Tennessee, city by the lake. Probably not a place you've ever heard of, but it's the fourth largest city in the Nashville SMSA. Hendersonville is a great place if you're looking for good schools, good lake life, close to the city, but you don't want to be in Nashville. You 20, 30 minutes away is just fine for you. Might be the spot for you, but if it's not, that's okay. As I promised you, the very best tip is to the end, and that is check out my relocation guide. It tells you about all kinds of different areas here in the Nashville, Middle Tennessee area. So grab that free guide. That's what I'm here for. I've got your back when you move to Middle Tennessee, so reach out to me. Send me those texts, give me those calls like everybody else does. Send me the smoke signals if you want. But reach out to me so that we can help you find the ideal location for you in Middle Tennessee. But the only way I can do that is if you reach out to me. So now you're seeing other videos to watch and learn. Tell me, what is a place that you would like me to go? Or what kind of questions do you have that you would like me to answer in some of our next videos? Until then, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to seeing you next week.